Today I have a very special guest. Um, it's someone I've known his whole life. And today's a special day for him as well. And today um, I have the honor of interviewing my very own son, Xander. Hi. And today is his 12th birthday. Happy birthday, buddy. Mm -hmm. I love you. Thank you for doing this with me. Yeah. We're doing the interview in his room. And behind us, as you can see, is tons of Lego sets. Xander mm -hmm. is a avid Lego lover, mm -hmm. um, especially Star Wars Legos. Here today, we are going to be doing a Lego build. Let me just grab it with the force. Oh, there we go. So all of these sets, he's built himself. Um, Xander, what do you love about Lego? I just love how like creative you can be with these Legos, just like, all the different like things that you can imagine you could just build like say you want like a sci-fi like alien build you can just go ahead and do that or maybe you just want like something like more like medieval fantasy you could just rebuild it it's just like the fun like diverse like possibilities you can do with lego it's just it's just like big probably bigger than I could think. Some of these sets behind me that you can point to, like what are some of your favorites? One of my favorites has gotta be this TIE Fighter right here. It's a classic TIE Fighter, just the plain gray, but it's just like, it has just been, I'm a big Star Wars fan. Like me and my dad are both big Star Wars fans. And it's just been a, like an icon to us. It's just like anything Star Wars we love. Yeah, well, like, what do you love most about Star Wars? I just love like how like they just, it's just like how it's very different from any movie series. Cause you got like aliens, you got like blasters, you got like you got lightsabers, you got like cool characters, cool planets, like all of these stuff, all this stuff. It's just like made. I don't know how to describe it. It's like someone brought these cool things from their imagination to life. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's really cool. George Lucas, good job. Thank you, George Lucas. Star Wars continues to live on. So also, Xander, mm -hmm. you have a YouTube channel. Do you yes. want to like tell everyone what your YouTube channel's about and yeah. the kind of things that like you have been putting up and the kind of things that like you want to put more up of on? Uh, so my channel is all about Lego builds and gaming and like traveling. Maybe some food reviews involved too. Um, but I've put up like at least 10, 10 Lego videos, like a little above 10. And then I want to start incorporate, um, start putting in more game, more gaming content. Just like maybe like reviewing new games or like just, I don't know, just more gaming, gaming stuff. Cause like I, uh, I have not done like a lot of gaming videos. Like the only things I've done is pretty much Fortnite and that's pretty much it. Yeah, so you want to do more videos. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and then there's some food reviews, like some quick shorts, um, but traveling wise, we have like a ton of videos of traveling. Like recently we had, we, we, like a couple, like a month ago, we went to Disney World and it was so fun. We have like a ton of videos. That we have a ton of video stuff from there. So yeah. What was, bringing, speaking of Disney World, what was, what was Disney World like for your first time? Talk to us about some of your favorite things that you, at Disney World that you got to experience. I just, like, there's just like, I know that Disney World and Disneyland have some things in common, but just thinking about it with all of the four parks, it's just like each one has their own like personality. Like if you, if you are like a nature lover, there's Animal Kingdom with like all animals and plants and like just, it just has this like forest theme. If you're like more into like culture, culture, there's Epcot with all with World Tro Showcase and all of their like what what's the word? Um, different countries. Different 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 countries. Thank you. With their own like personalities and like food and like style of like clothing. Um, and then but if you're more like fantasy lovers, you're probably just gonna like Magic Kingdom, all the classics. And then if you're more into like movies, you're, I, I think that Hollywood Studios would be good for you. But I'm like pretty much all of, the, of those. <laughs> so we went to all the parks. But some of the favorite things that I've experienced 
was probably gotta be Tron, the Tron roller coaster and the Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. Those were both really. Those were very very unique. Just and also they don't have any any like upside down moments, which I just love. But it, they're just both unique in some ways. Like Jake for Tron, Tron, for example, you're not sitting in like a normal roller coaster position, even though you could. Mm -hmm. But you're like actually riding a. It feels like you're actually riding a bike. But with Guardians, like you're launched backwards, and you're like like cart spins while you're like riding that it. Was that was like I've never been on a ride just like that. That was pretty cool. Um, some other favorites is like some of the like trackless rides, meaning that there's no like, there's a de designated path. That's a yeah. big word. Um, but it's, there's no like rails or like tracks. What were some of those rides that have no tracks that you like? Some of those were, um, one of them was an Epcot. It was Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. Very unique because like you have glasses on, you have to have like glasses on and there's like, like physical sets and then there's like these screens and like you get like the smells and like you get like there's like tiny parts where you get wet yeah. which, was fun, which was fun um but, but it's hard for wearing another pair of glasses on my glasses it's just kind of weird um but another one of those is also is another star wars ride um called rise of resistance in galaxy's edge um yeah, it's just so immersive and like the, the like animatronics were just like so lifelike and like like moving with like flow, like smooth motions. It just felt real, yeah. like you were like in the ride. Speaking of immersive and like being in it, let's talk about what it was like to build your lightsaber. Oh yeah. Being in that experience, in that immersive experience, like what did it feel like for you to like just, go through the process of building a lightsaber? It just felt very like, it just felt very fun. It's all the like different pieces you could use and different styles and like how their personalities match up with the like design. Mm -hmm. Like actually, mine's is right on the yeah, wall we'll if you mind really grabbing it. Where I chose protection and defense, and there, and there's different. And it's like there's different kyber crystals that you could get, but the four. But I chose I chose purple. I like I, I like all colors, but I feel like purple was just like calling out to us, to both of us, um, because there's meaning, and like purple means like royalty or something um, like we'll that. Have to look it up we'll have to look it up again, but but like it just like felt like I was actually connecting to the lightsaber. Like, like it was like a part of, like, it was like, just, wow. It was just like, wowed at the moment. I was just like, this is actually what happening. What did it feel like to turn it on for the first time? It was like, so this is what having a lightsaber is like. <laughs> it was like, just like that moment when I turned it on, it was like, so this actually happened. This actually happened. I have a lightsaber yeah. that's like actual metal. And I'm like made of like, Metal pieces, and it was just like how like the like instructor was like talking. He was just like so like he was just like so like in the ca in character, mm -hmm. and he wasn't he didn't like break character at all. He was just like he was like doing what he had to do. Okay, we don't either, so it's not an example. You made the experience. I do want to remind the experience. Yep, there you go. I wanted to talk about um, our Yosemite trips. Oh, really okay. Quick. Um, you've done a lot of hikes in the A Yosemite, lot of hikes, some yes. Pretty difficult ones. Pretty difficult ones. I got, I uh, almost got exhausted. I got exhausted doing all of them. And so you've probably racked up over, I would say, at least over 20, maybe 25 miles of hiking or more. Yeah. And some of those like hikes have been very difficult. Yes. What have those hikes taught you that, about life? Hmm. It's just like, just like about nature and like all different animals. Um, it's kind of hard to describe, really. Just like how like you can connect with like nature and how you can connect with like the world itself. 
And it's like, you don't need to always like be around the screen or like be on, or like, or like going somewhere. It's just like doing a hike is like, to me was like kind of like fun. Yeah. Seeing like everything you could do and like, just like taking in right. like all we the nature. Yeah. We want to show people this. And those were challenging hikes and like some of the challenges you, sh you you struggled with it first, yeah. but you got through. What what kind of things did you learn from like going through something hard but working through it? Huh. Um. Because sure. there was moments where you would want to give up, or you were tired. Yeah, and there was. To stop, and then we pushed through those. And so, what did that feel like to push through and get all the way to the top of the mountain? It just felt like it was worth like getting to the top, just like because. Like just seeing like everything, ev like all the like trees and all the like okay, other like mountains at the top just like felt so relaxing. And I just loved it there. Even though it was challenging, did you feel like it was rewarding? Yeah, it did, yeah, it did. What achievement are you most proud of? Um, I'm pretty proud of when I got my black belt in karate, mm -hmm. it just felt like so emotional to me because it's like I've been doing it for pretty much like my whole life. Mm -hmm. And just getting to that achievement, it's just like, it's just like beginning a new like story. Mm -hmm. And just like how I'm gonna like learn more the older I get and like the more like degrees I get. Mm -hmm. It just felt like Wow, like I'm a black belt. This is like, before I was like four, three? You started when you were about four. Yeah. I was like, when I was like four, I was just like so small and I just thought this was gonna, do, this was just gonna be like something for fun. But the older I got, the older, older I get, the more I realize how like, how much this means to me. Cause it's something in my childhood. Mm -hmm. I just, it just felt like it's just gonna like be a part of me for the rest of my life. It's just not just gonna like be there. It's just like gonna stick with me. Yeah, I'm proud of you on that. That's a really good achievement. Um, and for someone your age to stick with that for seven years and to accomplish that, that's really good. It's good you can wipe it off. No biggie. I'm proud of yourself. Those are good, happy, joyful tears. It's that good core memory. Ooh. What are some things that make you the happiest? Definitely my dogs. My dogs are just like there. My dogs are always there, just like in case like something bad happens, I'll always just be there. They're just, they'll just be there just to, like, if, if anything bad happens, I can just go over to them, just give them some love, and then they'll just get my energy back up. Um, you and the rest of my family just makes me very happy. Just like you guys being there for me when I'm like, Sad or like, or like frustrated, you're you're always there. Um, also, just also just things for like enjoyment, like Legos, obviously, and then like video games just help me like just like leave my mind. Yeah. Cool. Like just forget about everything, just zone out. Yeah, it's a good escape. What's something that you want to learn more about? Hmm, I want to really learn about Chinese culture because mm. I kind of know because like there's Chinese New Year and like everything about it but I want to learn like outside of that just like what happened in China like what was China like before how is China now like what China what Chinese food can is there to eat because and like just because like I am Chinese and it's just like I don't really know a lot about Chinese. Okay. Like maybe their language too. Do you know what do you know what different dialects are of Chinese? It was I forgot. No. Mandarin and Mandarin Cantonese. Mandarin and Cantonese. Yep. I forgot about this and I thought this was super important. Um you know that mental health and mindfulness mm -hmm. is super important to me and it's like a big part of my life. 
and you do some things at school and at home that practice mindfulness and help with your mental health. Can you tell us some of the things that you enjoy doing at school and at home that help you with your mental health? Um, I really like like um, doing essays, which is fun. I know that most people think, think that, oh, essays are the worst, it's just so long. But it just helps me like just like spread my creativity everywhere and just let it run wild mm -hmm. with like how like the store how many like different stories I can like think of um, I also like doing art art's very calming for me and it's just something I enjoy to do okay and then as far as like the mindfulness stuff like you had your mindfulness journal in, at school and okay. you've done some and you've done some mindfulness journaling at home and how does how did that how did those things help you it just helped me like just like share my feelings to the like to just like express it and just like just just let it out mm -hmm. just like tell them like what happened and like why and then just like just like saying this is what this is this this is that is that just kind of expressing yeah. how you feel and yeah. feeling good about it. Mm -hmm. So do you feel that it's healthy for you to express your emotions and to get those things out of your head? Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. For sure. I think sure. so too. Um, and you use the Calm app quite a bit, um, just like me. Um, what are some of your favorite things about the Calm app and like your meditations? Uh, it just like, some of the meditations just like help me like understand life more. And just like, like, just how, how to be like, well, calmer, mm -hmm. calmer and more like relaxed and like in the moment. Um, but also, also just to let me know that just like, hey, you're, hey, you're feeling kind of down. How about you just meditate for like seven minutes, just help you get your energy back. Yeah. And you think it's helped you, do you think meditation's helped you on days that haven't always felt great oh yeah for sure yeah when it comes to your mental health what are some things that well I guess you already kind of talked about that for you you said some things that help you with your mental health are writing mm -hmm. um, or typing said, or typing like your essays you said mm -hmm. art mm -hmm. you said Legos earlier help you <laughs> um, video games because they help yeah. you kind of check it's, out a little bit yeah um, those are all really good things. Um, from last year to this year, what are some like core memories that happened in the last like 12 months that you uh, are gonna remember? Uh, right? Oh, something for sure is definitely in Disney World. Mm -hmm. De Disney World was definitely fun. Christmas was fun. Yosemite is definitely one for sure. The first day of school. Yeah. The this first year? day of si sixth grade. Yeah. What was so great about your first day of sixth grade? It was just that like, it's just like, it's going to be like the last year I've been there and I've been there for like three years. Mm -hmm. It's just like kind of sad seeing it, seeing it like just going to it's leave in like about like 180 days. What do you miss about being younger? Ooh, what do I miss about being younger? Not that you're old, but like... Mm, I have a joke answer and I have like an actual okay. answer. Okay, what's both? Um, so my joke answer would be um, getting pushed around in the stroller. Okay. <laughs> uh, but my real answer would be is just like having like a, a lot of like new things like happen to me like me getting older having bigger clothes and like getting experience to like more things mm -hmm. that I haven't known about yeah that makes sense and you can continue to keep doing that too as you get yeah. older so I'd love that um, what excites you about getting older Ooh, just like starting a new life and then just like how like my channel would end up like let's say like 20 years in the future mm. oh you're talking about your youtube channel yeah gotcha yeah i mean really like how it would be 20 years in the future like if i've succeeded or not like would i have like more family uh like i don't know like what's gonna like what's gonna happen to me What's gonna happen to me? You're excited to just see what's gonna happen. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Gotcha. Like you don't know, but like you're just excited to just experience it all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you have any questions about the world or people? Mm -hmm. 
I think one question about the world is like, it's just like, how did like, like how did like separating people from black and white happen? Like, how did that happen? Because mm. it's just something so like important and so like important in our history. And it's just like, we've, it's just like if that didn't happen, like what would happen now if like that wasn't a thing? Mm. Yeah, that was, that's a really good question and a really like curious thing to think about. Mm -hmm. I like that. What's something in life that you need more of? I probably Ooh. have a joke and a real answer for this. So. Yeah, I have a joke answer and I have a real answer. Okay. Joke, joke answer, more Legos. Okay. <laughs> um, but like a real answer, real answer is actually kind of hard because I have pretty much everything I need. There's nothing I, I need, like I want now. You feel like your life's pretty full. If you could give any advice to another kid who's dealing with a difficult challenge, like what would you tell them? Ooh. Um, which is like, I'm just like, think about like something you enjoy and just like think about that until it's all over just so you can get through it and not think about any of the bad stuff just think about the good stuff I like that uh, okay tell me a joke <laughs> oh god joke um oh i have a it's a it's like a state joke okay um what what did tennessee the same thing that arkansas you get it? Wait, one more time? What, 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 what did Tennessee, the same thing that Arkin saw? Oh, that's funny. <laughs> uh, you got another one? No, I don't. <laughs> no, not anymore. Um, what's your obsession with Uno? Oh gosh. Uh, uh, I just love the feeling that you get when you just like win the game and you're just like, oh my gosh, I won. If there was one person you can play Uno with, or you can play a game of Uno with three people, dead or alive. Whoa. Who would you want to play Ooh, Uno with? Oh, dead or alive? Ah. Eh. Well, Disney for sure. Ooh. Uh, Stephen Curry, he's my favorite basketball player. I actually have a Funko Pop of him up, up there. Mm -hmm. um, and then one last person. Could it be like a fantasy character? Um, or does it have to be someone like actually real? Let's do a real person. A and then you can tell me person. your fantasy character is the fourth one. Uh, uh, my, my, fourth, my third person, probably you. Me? Yes. Oh, that'd be awesome. Thank you, buddy. I am my fantasy character, Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Well, I think we're kind of running out of time today for this first episode. I'm sure we're going to have you back here again yeah, for, for the podcast. Probably. Um, but is there anything you want to tell the lovely people watching right now about where they could find your YouTube stuff? You can find it by going to the search bar and typing in X-Man in the works with an X after work. Put it right here somewhere. Yeah, it's right here. Right here. And then, um, but no spaces. I'm pretty sure there's no caps. If you might, if it's not showing like at the top, you might have to just scroll down a little yeah. to find it. We'll link it though. So we'll, we'll yeah, we'll put it down. We'll put the link below just so you can check it out. Do you have any questions for me? Oh, no, I do not. <laughs> no. No questions. Okay. No questions. I guess we'll call it then because at this point I'm you can probably just get a little nervous and anxious. Um, okay. So we'll, I just wanted to thank you guys for tuning yeah, into this first episode. It's been such a great easy transition or interview conversation whatever you want to call it with my little homie right here my son my dude i love so much and um uh thank you guys for tuning in and i'm looking forward to doing more of these and um we'll, what are people supposed to do at the end of their videos like, like subscribe and share yeah what he said so like subscribe share i'm gonna have plenty more podcast uh, episodes and interviews coming out soon 
So thank you guys for tuning in and uh, have a wonderful day and sending you all a smile. Peace.